I Googled rowing uh, to find some lessons in 2010. Um, as was, a master's rower. As a master's rower, so it was after <laughs> college. I had been on the ERG like once before at a gym and I was like, oh, I know how to do this. Um, I did not know how to do it. Uh, of course, that competitive side, you know, ever since I was a kid, I, I had to be the best at everything. And so I think once I realized I liked this, had some potential, I was like, oh man, okay, let's see what I can do. Um, and then, you know, the sport itself, it really draws you in in a way that you get out of it what you put in. And so it's sort of this constant self-check of what are you capable of? Who are you? Arms are just hooked. Years ago now, we're in a place where we've put so much work into the double, into our team, that I really think that that's what gives us uh, a lot of the power and kind of perhaps the advantage over other crews is that we've had a lot of experience together, we've, we've had a lot of like challenges and overcome a lot of obstacles that, um, you know, that's, that's kind of an intangible that I think a lot of other crews may not have. And I also think, um, the work ethic that we both have is very similar. Like we come to the boathouse every day, um, trying trying to get better, trying to make improvements. So um, it's it's easy to work with someone who you like when you know they're working as hard, if not harder, than you are. We can drive each other crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen Tomac will be a two-time Olympian, along with Megan O'Leary, who will make her Team USA Olympic debut this August in Rio. They've done it. It's funny, like, you know, we launch 50 minutes before a race, but there's a sense of calm that comes over us once we're on the water, because it's like, this is what we know how to do. Just the, the sport is, is very beautiful, um, and if done well, it can be very graceful and kind of give, you know, give you just a feeling of serenity while you're also <laughs> working really hard and hurting a lot. So. Gap, it's gonna be a goal for New Zealand. Low and Dawn, if you take the gold, the USA take a silver medal. Well I knew we were going to medal going to world championships just because of, um, there's just sort of this instinct, this feeling of how, how the boat was going. We had, we'd had a tough year last year with injury and just like work and kind of some stuff. And, um, but in those, those weeks leading into worlds, we just sort of came together and it really, you could just feel it. Uh, I just, I remember hogging her across the line saying like, we did it, you know, like yeah. you did it. So. We're still at that place where we haven't hit our ceiling, um, so we're really excited about continuing, you know, continuing on. Um, this year, the immediate goal is to make the 2018 national team compete at the World Championships, preferably in the double, um, and to come away with the medal again. You know, we think we're we're capable of of a, you know similar result, if not getting a place further. You know, moving toward the Olympics, like just continuing to get on the podium and and come away with the first. You know, Olympic medal for the United States women's double in 2020.